Hey everybody, how's it going? I hope you're all having a lovely Saturday evening. Today I would like to issue a retraction of one statement that I made regarding Future Motion's one wheel product. I said in a video that I did just a few days ago that the motor is paired to the controller so that if you replace the motor that it's not going to work unless you send it back to Future Motion. I also said that Future Motion was not willing to repair the motor even if you were willing to pay them. I based the second statement that I made on an email that the customer had received from Future Motion saying the following. I checked with our tech technicians and I regret to inform you that we would not be able to provide service in this instance, as we require all original internal components. Regardless of their state of disrepair to be present, we apologize for the inconvenience and wish you success in recovering your lost package. When it comes to motor serialization, I was wrong. The motor is not serialized to the controller according to future motion. Let me explain how it is that we learn this information. In many of the videos that I've done over the past several weeks, whether it was the issue on unplugging the battery in the BMS, causing the board to be bricked unless you send it back to future motion, or any of these other videos where I go over what I find to be design flaws or issues with the product, this is all information that I am getting from technicians that work on one wheels that are respected within the community. The same way that we don't get information on MacBooks, when MacBooks first come out, we just kind of have to open them up and mess around to figure out what's going on with them. The same is true with the one wheel. And there are groups of technicians that will open these things up and take them apart and mess with the components to try and figure out how they work so that they can repair them. There was a technician that is very reputable within the one wheel repair community that tried taking out a motor swapping it with another one, and when he did that, his board threw an error. I did not report that the motor was serialized at that point in time. I waited until another customer had tried to swap that motor with a friend's motor, and he had almost the same error show up where he was not able to get his board to work. Once two respected members of the One Wheel community had talked about this, I then went online and said that it seems that these are serialized. Serialization is a serious issue within right to repair, not just with, a, with potentially electric skateboards, but with virtually everything, and it's been gone over on cell phone websites, agriculture, everything else. Serialized hardware is another worrying trend that self-repair programs likely won't affect much, if at all. In a nutshell, serialization refers to the practice of pairing displays, batteries, cameras, and motherboards, and other components from the factory. And that means that even if you get an OEM part, it's not going to work unless it's paired by the manufacturer. Since this is something that is taking hold across many different industries, and Future Motion has admitted that they are not going to be going back on any of their other, anti, what we find to be, anti-repair practices, it wasn't a large jump when numerous people had reported this as an issue that this may actually be part serialization. However, the first technician that told me about the issue with the motors being paired or serialized in some way has said that he believes that there may be something else contributing to that board that not working, and he has apologized for providing that information to me before it was likely ready to be released. So when Future Motion says that they have not paired the motor to the controller, at this point in time, I have no reason to not believe them. Further, I apologize to all of you, to the people who watch this channel on a regular basis, who trust me to provide you with factual information about right to repair. I am sorry. To the One Wheel community that has liked the fact that I'm taking their legitimate grievances and giving them a platform so that things may potentially change, I am sorry. Even to future motion, if I got something wrong, then I am sorry and I will retract it. One of the things that drives me nuts is when people are not willing to go over things again if they get something wrong. Several years ago, I did a video on a case, Henrik Husby versus Apple, and I got something seriously, seriously wrong in this video. So what I did when I got that thing wrong is once I got access to the court documentation, I went over every single thing that was in that court documentation and why, in my opinion, Apple, the company that I have way more reason to dislike than Future Motion, by a long shot. We've got a lot of history there. And I went over why Apple actually had a reason to be mad. And I gave in that video a 41-minute full-throated defense of Apple Inc. When a newspaper that had been covering right to repair in a friendly light for about five or six years refused to correct the information in their paper once I presented them with the court documents, just refused to correct it, I named and shamed that newspaper publicly for never correcting the information in the newspaper. If I get something wrong, and I will get things wrong from time to time, you have my word that I will always come on here and explain what I got wrong 
and why I got it wrong and what I am changing into the future so that that will not happen again. In this case, what I can do is I can wait for more than two or three independent technicians to verify something prior to me talking about it here. Since the people that I have been talking to have been right about everything else that they have presented to me, I had no reason to believe that anything that I was being presented was anything less than factual and true. This is an issue in the repair world. However, it is unfair to future motion if I get something wrong about their particular product when I am criticizing them. I have no apologies for any of the many criticisms I've given of, the, of what I find to be, in my opinion, design flaws and anti-repair practices on this channel. But I will apologize when I get something wrong. If we're going to criticize somebody, we need to criticize them for what they're doing wrong, not for what they're not doing wrong. Now, one thing that Future Motion has said, and I will read this quote from Future Motion's attorneys. Furthermore, in the case of a broken motor in any one wheel product, Future Motion will repair or replace the motor, either under warranty or out of warranty as a paid repair. And because of the wording in this, I do have to respond. They said, in the case of a broken motor in any one wheel product, any one wheel product, and in, the, in this particular case, they did say, I just checked with our technicians and I regret to inform you that we would not be able to provide service in this instance as we require all original internal components regardless of the state of disrepair to be present. In this particular case, there was no damage to it. The motor had simply been removed and that was the only issue with this device. So it, that does, this would fit within the definition of any one wheel product. If you have an issue with your Ford F-150 and your Ford F-150 is missing a tire and you have that towed to a dealer, it's not common to hear the dealer tell you, we need the old original tire in order to fix your Ford. If you can't provide us with your Ford F-150's original tire, we can't help you. That's just not something that happens in the automotive world. If I have a Bafang BBS HD on my bike and it's missing the old nylon gear, I took it out, but I'm afraid to put a new one in. If I take that to a shop that fixes Bafang BBS HD e-bikes and I say, can you fix my nylon gear? I'm not going to find a lot of shops that say I would have fixed it, but I'm not going to now because you don't have the original gear because the original gear is trash anyway. This is not standard. Further, this particular individual may have actually had the opportunity to find out what was actually wrong with his one wheel if he was able to send it back to one wheel for service. When he was not able to get another motor to work, he tried to reach out to Future Motion to figure out what it is that was wrong with this device, and they fully refused to offer him any repairs whatsoever, which is one of the reasons that he and the community had jumped to the conclusion that they had jumped to. But at the end of the day, I stand by the fact that this channel should have a higher bar, a higher standard for when we issue this type of criticism. And above all, you as an audience should hold me to that standard if I ever get anything wrong. I stand behind many of the things that I've said about future motion and the one wheel. But in this particular case, they actually do have a point if they have not serialized the motor to the controller. And if they have not serialized the motor to the controller in any way, shape, or form, then it is inappropriate for me to say that they did. Therefore, I will issue a retraction for that particular statement. And at the end of the day, what I hope to accomplish with all of these videos is a dialogue between the actual one wheel community and the company making them. At the end of the day, if you watch videos like Float Life or anything else, you will see that these products have a massive positive effect on people's lives. They have lifted them out of depression. They have gotten them to socialize again when they otherwise wouldn't socialize. They make people happy that otherwise might not have had the same chance of being happy. You may think that's silly, but that's reality. This company has a chance to do an amazing thing, and they have a chance to really engage with an amazing community. And I want to see that happen. At the end of the day, I don't want to see this company go out of business or go bankrupt. I want to see them embrace this amazing community that loves and appreciates their products in a way that is sustainable for everybody. That's it for today. And as always, I hope you learned something. I hope to see you all in the next video. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. And uh, that's about that. Bye now.